Queensland politics fires up this week with Parliament sitting for the first time since the state election and already conflict is brewing. Opposition leader Deb Frecklington has revealed to the ABC that the LNP is unlikely to support the government's nominee for Speaker. I spoke with Ms Frecklington a short time ago about her plans and priorities for 2018. Deb Frecklington, What's your top priority this year? Well, look, first of all, the top priority is to hold this Labor government to account. I mean, they have been elected back in and it's time for them to get to work. So priority certainly is making sure that they're getting going. And, and we've got some great solutions for them. Happy to offer up some solutions with some of the issues that are going on around Queensland. Such as? Well, for example, crime, massive issue. Uh, there's also a big divide between the southeast corner and the regions. And I'm really keen to make sure we End that divide. Uh, we've got congestion issues down here in, in Brisbane uh, and of course I'm always and have been talking about ice. What is this divide and how do you end it? Well I think the divide quite simply is that anyone outside of Brisbane or the southeast corner just feel like they've been left behind by this government and rightfully so. I mean we have really high youth unemployment in areas. Uh, we're looking at what's happening in Townsville and the lack of support uh, between opening up uh, the Galilee Basin there, for example. We need to make sure that money is being spent on infrastructure, on roads and bridges. You've got a problem in the regions too, haven't you, in that you only have two MPs north of Bundaberg. The LNP performed very poorly at the election. How are you going in terms of uh, what you called rebuilding the faith in the LNP? Well, look, we've had a really busy uh, couple of months. I think it's been about three months since the election and there hasn't the parliament hasn't sat yet. So we've been doing everything we can to get out and about and, and listen to those Queenslanders. We have a really strong showing in Western Queensland and country Queensland, uh, but we really do need to earn that faith back from people in North Queensland. How are you going to take the fight up to Anastasia Palaszczuk? What's your approach going to be? Well, look, I'm really keen to make sure that uh, she stops blaming other people and just gets on and does the job she's paid to do. I mean, a good opposition is there to hold the government to account. And look, I'm not a career politician. I'm, you know, with me, what you see is what you get. So sure, I'm going to make some mistakes. Uh, but what I am really keen to make sure is that Anastasia Palaszczuk stops the blame game. One of the first things that the Parliament has to do is elect a new Speaker. Curtis Pitt is Labor's nominee and the LNP uh, has made a complaint about him that he may have misled the Parliament. Are you going to vote against him as Speaker? Well, first of all, obviously we'll have to make sure that that is the government's choice because we have raised our concerns in relation to Curtis Pitt and, and the blatant misleading of the House uh, that it appears from the documents that I was able to, to bring forward. So. If Anastasia Palaszczuk thinks that her government should be accountable and open and transparent, then she needs to put a speaker forward that is above all of that. So if he is put forward, will you vote against him? Well, I think it would be quite obvious that it would be difficult for us to vote for him, given the fact that we believe he has misled the parliament. He denies that. Would you be putting up your own nominee for Speaker? Well, of course, we'll have to wait and, and see which way the LNP goes in relation to that. Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> well, obviously we won't be. Obviously we won't be um, backing someone that we don't think uh, is, you know, should hold that high position. And we have a fabulous uh, couple of members that we'd be more than happy to nominate for the premier, premier to consider, All right, or Deb the House to consider, I should say. Deb Frankington, thanks for your time. Thanks, Jess. And the Premier will speak with us tomorrow night.